Eve's even grabbed their sunscreen to enjoy the great outdoors. I did that myself. Our Jake Burns was out and around the area and talked to many of you enjoying the very warm Sunday that we had. He is working for you atop Radio Hill in Richmond tonight. Hey, Jake. Yeah, you know, Rob, a jacket is required attire right now after the sun has set, but earlier you mentioned it, it was more like tank top weather. We caught up with people enjoying the sun, throwing some Frisbee, throwing back a few cold ones, and saying bye-bye to winter, at least for one day. <laughs> Where else to go on our record-blasting February day than the park? It's nice. It's great. It's really nice. It'll make, even if it, if it gets colder, it'll make it bearable. The Harkless family decided to get a little pre-dinner playtime in at Short Pump Park in Henrico. 80 degree days in the middle of an RVA winter are rare, but Elizabeth Harkless is hoping Sunday is a sign of more to come. We know we're just like one snowstorm away from spring, so we're like waiting on that snowstorm. <laughs> to say Sunday felt spring-like is definitely an understatement. The previous record high for a February 12th in Richmond, 74 degrees degrees. Sunday we reached 82 and folks across central Virginia found all kinds of ways to enjoy it. On Monument Avenue. I gotta go outside. Uh, I love being outside to begin with so being able to be out here in February makes it all that much more enjoyable. Zach Whitaker soaked up the winter heat wave with his friends and his Hawaiian shirt. Got myself put together. I was like today's a Today's a Hawaiian shirt day. But alas, like the realities of a Hawaiian vacation, the fun must come to an end sometime. Colder weather and the work week loom. Back to work tomorrow, but uh, last little bit of fun before uh, the alarm clock goes off tomorrow morning.